first. I heard a woman screaming, for the love of God, please stop. Plus, a bus crushed her legs. Now she tells 8 on your side investigator Walt Buteau the investigation is blaming her. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us. She was hit by a bus and dragged. She wasn't able to walk for months. And now the single mother is talking for the first time about surviving that ordeal. And she came to News Channel 8 frustrated by the investigation into the accident that she claims could have killed her. Eight on your side, investigator Walt Buteau joining us now with the story. Keith and Stacey, the victim tells us the accident changed her life and left her with nearly constant pain in her legs. And she says so far the investigation has added insult to those injuries. It was early in the evening last spring at the corner of North 27th and East 131st near USF in Tampa. The right leg is worse than the left leg? Yes. Kashara Burton had just put her bicycle on a heart bus bike rack. It had started leaving with my bike on it, and I got, had all my things in my arm. She says at that point she ran after the bus and banged on the side of it, trying to get the driver to stop. And the next thing I knew, I was on the ground. I tried to get up, and he dragged me. He, was, he started dragging me down the road. How long did he drag you for? It felt like forever, honestly. It felt like forever. I heard a woman screaming, for the love of God, please stop. She tells me it was mentally painful when she read the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office crash report that stated she lost her footing and fell to the ground. They said that I tripped and fell. He hit me. I didn't fall. He hit me. The bus hit you. The bus had hit me. That's what made me get down on the ground. The report got worse, according to Burton. The deputy found she was improperly in the road causing the crash. When you saw that the officer claims it's your fault, what's your reaction? I was very hurt and I was so disappointed. I felt like I, he didn't serve me any justice. In an email, Hart spokesman Frank Wazinski told me, we are unable to respond due to an active claim against Hart. Eight on your side filed a records request with the sheriff's office for the bus surveillance video and also asked for all other documents connected to the incident. This crash report does not include any of Burton's claims, but she says she's also frustrated by what is in the document, including a statement that the driver checked on her. After he hit me and I was on that ground laying there waiting for EMT for however long it took, that, I never saw his face. He never came and said, are you okay? Crash report says investigators did obtain the surveillance video as evidence, but neither Hart nor the sheriff's office released it to us yet. So we don't have a copy of it, and they're not offering to That's give it right. to us, even though we've asked for it. But at the same time, the deputy saw something. Somebody's right. seen the video. Yeah, that's Do they right. at least explain what they see in the video? So he didn't explain it, but he did obtain it. The deputy wrote that he reviewed the video to make his decision, but again, he did not offer any details about what was recorded by the bus camera and what necessarily made him believe that she was at fault. So we'll keep pushing on this and we'll find out. All right. Thank you, Walt. Okay. And if you have something you'd like Walt to investigate, you can call the 8 on your side helpline. There's the number 1-800-338-0808.